Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dev AV Club, and today we're going to be talking about how to add a subscribe button to your videos. There's a couple of different kinds of media you'll find. You'll find some pre-done stock media with like a big bright green screen. You'll find some rights-free media. But whatever you're using, I'm going to walk you through the process of me making mine so you'll understand some of the tools available for you to make yours and some of the tricks to make it a little simpler. So first off, uh, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to hit Control, Shift, and Q to make a new track. And I'm going to put this subscribe over my little generic video here. So to do this subscribe button, to have it pop up, I don't want it to have this extra white on it. So if you need to kind of crop in your media or something like that, easiest thing to do is go to video effects, go to Bezier masking. All right, so with Bezier masking, you can actually kind of get in here and cut it out the way you want with this general mask. But uh, there's a couple of things you can do too. You can, this is not a tutorial about Bezier masking, but I do have a tutorial about Bezier masking if you want to check that out for more info. But what you want to do is this little rectangle it defaults to. You can pick the shape you need right here. But I'm just using this to kind of crop out the white. And if you want it to feather off, or I'm going to kind of just customize my shape like this. So uh, there we go. Now we got a generic subscribe, but that's a little flat looking. Uh, so there's something we can actually do to make this look a little better. What we can do is we can go to the layer dimensionality. And you can grab one. Let's grab one that's got some embossing on it. Drop shadow with embossing. There we go. Boom. Now it's actually it looks a little bit more. There's got a drop shadow behind it. See if I take it away. There's there's a drop shadow, and also uh, it it just a little bit kind of bevels this edge, to give it, make it look like it's kind of cuts up three dimensionally from uh, from the video in front of it. So it gives it, it gives it a bit more depth to it. You can play with all these settings if you want. Give it some more height from the screen, or and some more embossing. to make it look more a little buttony, you know. But uh, there you go. Now we've got more that's kind of more of a button look. And then if we go to picture and picture, now we can just drag and drop picture and picture to it. And now we can move it wherever we want and make it whatever size we want on the screen. So that's exciting. So uh, now it just is there. So you can have it maybe pop up and pop away if you want it to be not very obnoxious so now when we watch the video there it is it just pops up pops away you can take it either right here on the track and make it kind of see-through or this little button right here this opacity button right here you can also make it see-through if you want or you can have it fade up and fade away so it gradually appears. You can even leave it see-through so it just becomes up and down. But maybe you think, oh no, I want it to be more obnoxious. Okay, well, you can do that. Just go to your transitions and find something like um, 3D fly in. There's all sorts of crazy ones. And if you just grab and drop this onto this clip here, uh, grab and drop it onto the uh, fade that you created, you can now give it some more time though so you can see it. You can now, if you arrow through, you can watch this thing fly in. And then you can even have it fly out if you drop the, the same effect onto the next one. And then you can mess with all these effects here and have it fly out. And so now let's watch it. I'm going to give it some more time gonna bog down your computer a bit once you start layering this many effects though and then it flies out so that's an option and then you can change these to whatever you want so you know if you just want it to maybe you just want it to slide onto the screen something a little simpler like that or you can have it slide up from the bottom that would be very very common so here we go we got a bottom slide up 
and we can put that on both and then we can change the direction to out on the second one if you want to edit any of your transition settings just hit this little button right here and you can get back to this window see that so now you got some animations to it let's let's do something else about the subscribe button so let's do something where um, now that I think about it I kind of wish I had a little more red over here but it doesn't matter for the purpose of this tutorial so um, I'm gonna hit control shift and Q to create a new track you can do that also by right clicking your tracks over here and hit create new video track uh, and I'm going to drag in my sub button smashing and then let's say I didn't want that audio then just delete that audio track that came with it um, there we go so now I got a green screen of me uh, awkwardly popping up and smashing it and coming back down oh I did it twice okay so let's mess with this so first off we got to get rid of this green screen here I have a whole tutorial about green screens if you made a green screen yourself uh, but this one I particularly want it to be a simple kind of green screen because this is most likely what you're running into if you've downloaded green screen media to do this so you need to go to your video effects type in chroma key because that's what you're doing is a chroma key again I have a whole tutorial just about this grab the default slide it on uncheck it grab this dropper here touch the green touch to any part of the green if it's a uniform green like this one is and then recheck it and then we need to like up the high threshold and the low threshold until it looks about right so you can hit the show mask only if you want um, to where you can dial it into to where you're getting just an white silhouette of what you want and nothing else all right so now we've got a chroma key so I pop up smash it pop back down all right so let's let's add a little more pizzazz to this so let's get to the picture and picture again and Now, when I look at it, I can actually move me over here to the corner and make it me even smaller or whatever I need to do. So let's let's grab this one, hit the effect. If you need to reposition anything, um, you can just hit the FX button of what you need to reposition and highlight picture in picture, and then you can reposition anything you need to. So we're going to put that more here. Let's go ahead and fix my mistake. Add a little more red. So I pop up and I hit it. And then I go away. And then that slides away. So let's add even more pizzazz to this. So I pop up. I hit it. Okay, so right here. You find the moment of impact. I'm miming this when I'm doing it, so boom! I would say that's the moment of impact there. So uh, I'm going to hit control. So now my marker is over the moment of impact. I'm going to hit Control Shift and Q, and then I'm going to grab this cracked screen here and I'm going to drag it into the new track and I'm going to drag the new track underneath my green screen there and I'm going to make it start right where I, I, I impact so that's good that pops up there so then what I'm going to do is go to media generators I'm oh, sorry video effects type mask and then get mask generator and then we're going to do a luminance mask and that kind of just worked in default there because uh, it takes away the black but you can 
kind of, kind of customize it how you need it to look. Uh, and then right here with this uh, this this cracked glass, I want it to. I'm going to hit 16 by 9 aspect ratio. There we go. That fills the screen better. So if your picture doesn't match up, that's what you would do: is you'd go here to Event Pan Crop, and then you would go to your deep 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And so now let's watch. Boom! I crack the whole screen when I do it. I crack everything except me. Uh, and so that's fun and obnoxious, but uh, what if I wanted it to be a little more localized? Well, I could do the same thing again. I could go, let me save it. I can go to video effects, type in picture and picture again, drag and drop, and then boom, now it's more localized. To the area, and let's say I wanted it to not be uh, a full, like a, a square. I can actually go to this, and I can go free parallel parallelogram, and kind of ch change how this moves on the screen here. So I can give it a little bit more of a of a less of a fixed shape. All right, boom. I crack it. So let's start the transition right where I hit. Uh, and I make it look like I kind of missed there, and then it slides away. And something we can actually do is do a transition on this as well. And let's go to transitions here and do the same slide up, change it to out. And let's see how this works. Now they come down together. And so we can make it to where, let's say, I crack it first, where these transitions start here, to change where uh, they slide away together. So now I kind of have it to where, let's see if I arrow through. They're going down, and then I start going down. I start going down around there. So let's say, let's have them go down around there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to hit this X to remove this effect. And I'm actually just going to let that slide down, and then that fade out like the screen kind of heals itself back. The screen's a little laggy. Let me go to draft and auto so you can see it. It's going to be blurrier, but you can see what's going on here a little better. Scribe pops up. I pop up. I smash it. I pop down and the screen heals. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually delete this video underneath it. Oh, that's um, what I thought was going to happen. So, okay. So the next thing uh, I'm going to do is is now that I've deleted that video, I'm actually going to go to Media Generators. I'm going to go to uh, Solid Color. And uh, green, only if green works for you, right? So I already knew green works for me because of the green screen. But if you got a lot of green colors in here, do not use green. Use blue or something different. Um, green is a good color to use most likely. So I'm going to grab this blight fluorescent green here, this auto green. It's all the way in the corner, super nasty green. Uh, and so now when we have it, boom, we've got it all. So I'm going to go to best auto so we can see it kind of here again. You can still see the screen cracking and everything. All right, so I've combined these three pieces right here actually in um, Vegas effects. So to add a screen shake to them, so you can see here there's the green and the smash. So I'm going to go ahead. This is just for my step only. I have that separate tutorial. If you're interested in doing something like that, I will link it. Uh, but now let's combine them uh, together again. <laughs> 
I'm not quite together yet. All right, so I'm going to render them out. And when you render these out, you need to render it out um, with the green screen. Uh, if, unless you're planning on doing some sort of alpha channel, and in that case, I'm going to suggest you watch a, a tutorial from Scrapyard Films. I will link that below as well. Um, but always choose what your final um, piece is going to be. So if it's going to be 4K or if it's going to be 1080p, uh, pick what your final piece that you're going to add this to is going to be. Uh, you can even pick an intermediate codec if you would like. Uh, for me, I'm going to pick this one because I know it's the same codec that it's going to end up at, at when I render it out for YouTube because it's definitely going to be for YouTube if it's got a YouTube subscribe button on it. Um, so I'm going to pick this codec right here because it's the same frame rate and resolution and codec of the videos that I will be putting on YouTube with this. Uh, so then I'm going to call this final with screen shake and then hit render. Here is the unboxing video again. Here is this uh, sub button with screen shake. I'm going to right click it and drag it to the timeline and then hit video only, add video across time. So then I don't add the empty audio track to it. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to go to media generators. I'm uh, sorry. Then I'm just going to go to video effects, type in chroma key, and then just grab the default green screen here and drag it on. Uh, you might want to double check, uncheck your green screen and double check that you've got the exact color green. Uh, this is definitely was close but not the exact color. You're gonna get a better green screen that way. So now There you go. If you wanted a sound effect or anything with it, just don't get rid of the sound. Just leave the sound effect synced to it. Uh, for example, if I wanted to add a glass breaking sound effect to this one. I'm just going to grab this glass breaking sound effect. You can see it clearly starts here. It's going to be super loud, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. And I got that from freesound.org. I highly recommend that website. And that is how to add your own little, make your own little subscribe widget. There's all sorts of tips and tricks about that. You just customize it, make it your own. Like this video, help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.